is striker spawning as the blue kilts on the bottom side and this is carnage as the red kilts on the top side of coastal let's see if our players have two hunts this time around uh striker has one here on the right side already and here's a second hunt as for carnage he has one over here and i think there's a very high chance that he has one here or maybe here let's wait and find out so striker once again going for that early barracks carnage on the other hand is going for this uh this time actually he went for a wood storehouse before anything he is gonna go for a fast barracks of himself so the difference between this game and the previous one is that carnage is now aware that striker was gonna go for a fast barracks and he is doing the same build again but carnage is not he has adapted to his opponent. Wow, the chat delay is so much. It's like I say something and I see the reactions to it a minute later. But anyway, Striker is gonna come over here. He is gonna check the wood line of Carnage. He is gonna see the barracks. And Carnage is gonna come over here and see. Yep. He is going to see the Spearman from Striker. He's trying to fight them with a scout. I'm not sure if... Uh... Yeah, he needs to do that. Yeah, he finally backs off. Striker is now starting to gather wood from his wood storehouse. Building a house. Carnage actually suspecting that he might lose his hunts. He is building a berry storehouse already. That's kind of strange. But regardless of that, he is making Spearman of his own. First Spearman is out. And Striker is sending four Spearmen towards Carnage's base. Who only has two in position for now. But he's making more. He's making houses. He won't be housed. And he is walling off. Very important. Uh, so this way, Striker's Spearmen need to come from this side if they want to attack the wood line. Otherwise, they're going to be... In range of the town center. Here come the spearmen. Five of them out. Striker is no longer producing spearmen though. Okay, now he is. So how many guys does he have on food? Seven? Without any hunting dogs. But here they are. Five spears to five spears. But some reinforcements are coming for Striker. 7 total, but Carnage is not stopping with his uh, spear in production either. However, one thing that I'd like to point out is that his hunts are soon running out. Glory to the Empire! Grungy, thank you for the gift sub to Game Video. Game Video, welcome to Project Celeste's sub team. But here we go, Carnage aging up now. Um... Striker is still producing Spearman, and he's going for a dock. And no no stone from him just yet. No hunt for Carnage? No, he does have a second hunt over here. So maybe he's just trying to be safe and sorry, I guess. Either way, it's fine. Oh, Carnage, look at your villagers! Oh no, one villager goes down. A second one maybe even, yeah, two villagers go down, so that was a lot of damage done to Carnage's economy. He's 15 villagers to the 19! But he is in the gold, uh, in the Bronze Age now. Striker only started going to... Go to the Bronze Age, and he's also gathering stone now, so if Carnage doesn't do anything about this, uh... Dock, it's gonna be... Oh, there he goes. He's trying to make a dock of his own. He has long swordsman in the mix now, so Striker might have to think twice before engaging this Spearman mass of Carnage. And he's going straight for the dock. Carnage might need to micro the villager. He is doing that, but yeah, he, he has to send another villager. And there he goes. He's also going to be able to afford a second TC right now. There you go. So 
Swan ship on the way for a striker. But he doesn't have gold for a second one, so if Karna just queues up a, a swan ship himself now, he will be able to combat this. Striker is not gathering gold with enough villagers, only three guys on gold. Second TC for Carnage halfway done. No swan ship from Carnage at all. I think maybe oh he's housed. That's why he's not making a swan ship actually. So maybe as soon as this town center goes up, he starts queuing up a swan ship. But that may be already too late. Six spear already trying to kill this dock. Now Carnage queues up a uh, swan ship, but I don't think Striker is gonna let. Uh, Carnage build the swan ship at all. He's gonna just kill the dock before that happens. Or maybe not. I mean, he either has to suicide into the dock, which is not dying by the way. With 308 HP, it's surviving. And if Carnage just buys enough time to uh, train that swan ship, he's actually making it. Wow. Oh, just in the nick of time, the swan ship pops out, but there's another swan ship from Striker, and the dock for Carnage goes down, and I think it's time for Carnage to think of a second plan, because I don't think he's going to be winning the water anytime soon. Now he's trying to micro the swan ship to survive, but... Here comes Striker again with a bunch of Longswordsmen, but between these two town centers, Carnage should be well, more than in, uh, able enough to defend this. Second dock going down for Striker, who only has one villager over Carnage right now, but he does have the water. Carnage doing a sneaky dock on the side of this map. Of the sea, I mean. So if Striker doesn't start looking on the shoreline, um, Carnage is going to be able to sneak a swan ship out, yeah. And he's going to be able to take out Striker's food economy, or at least half of it. Striker trying to be annoying with his long swordsman. So Striker is pretty confident that he has won the water, but he doesn't know that Carnage is slowly and sneakily making swan ships on the side of the sea. So if Carnage can manage to surprise Striker, because he is really investing heavily into these fishing boats. Ooh, really nice by Striker focusing that low villager first before doing anything, but he needs to be careful about these swan ships. He's going to start sending the swan ships to the side of the sea now, but he's going to see the swan ships now with, with the second one popping out already. So 40 villagers to 45 for Striker. And now he's uh, starting to make double swan ships. So Carnage really needs to make something happen right away. He probably needs to take out the fishing boats first. Yeah, now Striker is microing this fishing boat. Now Carnage is gonna just ignore the fishing boats. And go for the... I mean, ignore the swan ships and go for the fishing boats. So far he's taken out one. He's making another swan ship. Three swan ships out for Carnage, four for Striker. But Carnage is doing a fine job taking out these fishing boats. Striker has 12 long swordsmen trying to come over here and kill the dock. Oh, but Carnage is gonna lose his swan ships in a matter of seconds if he doesn't pay attention to them. This swan ship is on one health. One arrow. Oh my god, both swan ships dying at the same time and Carnage is so far behind right now on the water. Yeah, things are looking pretty grim for Carnage, who is switching to a ton of barracks back home, but Striker with a 
30 population advantage over him with 50 villagers to the 49. Oh, actually, so Carnage is ahead in villagers, but he's down an army and he doesn't have nearly as much population as Striker has. Yeah, these long swordsmen from Striker. 7 long swords went to the 9 but he's just non-stop harassing the villagers of carnage right now sending another group of long swords went over here let's check their eco upgrades striker does have one upgrade lead over carnage an economy he has an armory built but he hasn't researched anything from it just yet carnage on the other hand he has his bard hall no upgrades from it yet. Same for his armory. Has one built, but no upgrades. Striker, on the other hand, he has almost reached the Silver Age. There it is. And let's see if he queues up Longswordman Champion. But I think he just he's just going for the killing blow. Uh, so many extra Longswordsmen compared to Carnage, who is going to lose a lot of these villagers to them. But luckily for Carnage, there's a single Druid here, but Striker is going after it, and there's the GG from Carnage. Okay. Let me update. So next map is going to be Sheltered Pass. <laughs> Interesting.
Okay, Carnage's PC seems to have crashed. We're waiting for him to come back. Hey Borg. Still waiting for Carnage to come back. Time, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in chat, guys. I'll answer them with a small delay, of course. I had a question, did Carnage pick Civ yet? Yes, it's another mirror, unfortunately. But... It's taking a while for Carnage to come back. When is Poseidon versus Verhoover? I have no idea.
No, it's not killed, no. But it looks like they're having a conversation right now. Because they both don't want to play another mirror match. Just give me a second, I'll be right back. Oh, here we go. Finally, Carnage is here. Alright, game two of this best of five series, we've got Striker spawning as the blue Egyptians on the bottom right side and we have Carnage as the red Egyptians on the top left of Sheltered Pass. We already see a difference in build orders for our players, Striker has moved his Priestess of Ra for, um, on his Woodstar house, Carnage is keeping her on the town center. Both of them have started without a barracks first so they're gonna go for a greedier build i think that's perfectly fine in a an, in an egyptian mirror so let's see shrek is gonna come over here and scout carnage's base see what he is doing carnage is gonna do the same They see that neither player is building a uh, barracks first. Striker now rallying to stone. Carnage is doing the same. Now the difference is going to be whether or not Carnage built a storehouse. I think Egypt is the one sieve that can't get away without building a storehouse. Especially if this... Oh, never mind. I was going to say that especially if the walking distance is so little here... But I guess Carnage wants to build a storehouse anyway, so that's fine. Carnage gonna be going to the second age momentarily. Right now he can put down his Temple of Ra. Let's see where he builds it. Probably here. Uh, maybe he wants to... Yeah, there he goes. Temple of Ra being built. But the difference is that Striker is gathering stone already with three villagers. And Carnage is building, uh, gathering it with two. He used one of his stone villagers to build his temple of Ra. so let's, let's see two on stone to the th four three on wood four on wood for so i think striker is going to have a better resource lineup when he reaches the bronze age compared to carnage but carnage is oh actually he's rallying an extra villager to food over here 
Let's see, I don't think it'll make too much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. Oh, luckily for Carnage, this wolf just disrupted uh, Striker's wood economy for a good 3-4 seconds. There's the Bronze Age for Carnage. He's immediately sending the Priestess of Ra to the stone. Now he's gathering with 5 villagers. Striker's also gathering with 5. But yeah, like I predicted, Striker's resources are lining up much better compared to uh, Carnage's. And he's going to be starting his second TC very soon. He's probably going to put it here. This looks like a really fine spot for the town center. Yep. He's going to start building it with five villagers and one priestess. Carnage has yet to build his town center. But, yeah. Let's see where he decides to build it. He's going to send six villagers, though. Is he really going to build a second TC over here? Wow, that's an ambitious town center by Carnage. Now, keep in mind that Striker did not build a uh, any houses. Let's see, 17 villagers to 16 for Carnage. So even though his town center is a little later... He does have one villager uh, uh, up on Striker, and Striker is house blocked for a bit here. Yeah, okay, he's now starting it. Uh, I mean, uh, he's starting a priestess, a third priestess, and he's starting off with a barracks, whereas Carnage is starting off with a stable. Carnage has been scouted by Striker, so he knows what he's up against. He still doesn't know where the second TC of Carnage is, but he's about to find out very soon. So there's a second TC. Yeah, both players know where their opponent's second town center is. So the major difference here is that Striker has a barracks and Carnage has a stable. So let's see how this plays out. Uh, maybe Striker wants to do a strong Spearman push. He has these two sheep here. Maybe he wants to move them next to his town center. That being said, Carnage has a lot of sheep. I'm hoping he gets hunting dogs, because remember, hunting dogs does affect herdables too, with the conservation and the gathering rate. Carnage is going to come over here. I believe he saw the barracks. He did. So, he knows what he's up against. Maybe he wants to go for a uh, fast H3 for chariots. Let's see. Touch of Ra being researched by Striker. Now, yeah, he's, he's building Spearman actually without the upgrade. So he's probably worried about early camel rays. A second barracks coming in for uh, for Striker actually. Now Carnage is expanding over here. Twenty eight villagers to the twenty nine. That touch of Ra is really gonna help Striker get a lot of extra villagers over Carnage. I'm just curious as to why he hasn't researched Spearman Champion before um, building additional Spearman because it does reduce the gold cost of these Spearmen in half and it's not like he's under an immediate threat. Okay, I guess these two camels are some kind of a threat, but... Oh, are they going to actually chain snare this calf to death? Oh no, he gets away. But Carnage has a lot of camels here already. And Striker is training priestesses of Ra non-stop. I'm really liking it. Now he's switching to Axeman, interestingly enough. But yeah, Carnage is going to react to this by making two barracks of his own. He's going to see the mass of Spearmen. Striker is going to be raiding with a couple of Axemen, but I'm not sure if, if he can get much done over here. Uh, let's see. 38 villagers to 39, so Striker is really catching up in the villager count thanks to these extra empowering priestesses with the touch of Ra upgrade. Here comes Carnage with five camels, nine camels in fact. Is he going to be able to take down the Priestess? He is not, but 
He's gonna be forcing some villagers to stop gathering. So nothing but barracks for a striker for now. Carnage is gonna see some Axemen over here too. And he has switched to Axemen of, of his own. Third barracks for Carnage going down. And so many priestesses for uh, striker being built already. These four Axemen are waiting over here to strike at the right moment. Which seems to be now, let's see. Uh, Striker seems to have stopped completely with the spearman production and has switched to. Uh... Oh, never mind, there are some spearmen being trained. Carnage is gonna find out. Yeah, he already knows that he's gonna be attacked very soon by Striker. Wow, I'm loving these uh, priestesses of Wrath from Striker. Six priestesses empowering. And even more priestesses over here for Striker. He's gonna be launching his attack first at the second TC of Carnage, it looks like, but no. Hard to say. He's going back and forth, but Carnage does have units in position if Striker decides to attack. Oh, these four Axemen were actually in a very nice spot. Uh, they are taking down some villagers, but not quite finishing them off. So maybe Striker, uh, maybe Carnage can try and heal them with a vi uh, with a priestess or two at the same time striker is trying to push on this side of the map but carnage is in position he's gonna pull the priestess off the tc and try and use her to heal three priestesses over here but so many additional uh axemen or other infantry for uh striker i'm not sure these camels are gonna be so effective but Strucker is not fully committing to this fight yet. 8 Axemen and 34 Spearmen for Striker. I think Carnage can just send the Camels away and only fight with his Axemen. He does have 16 Axemen here and those Priestesses are providing the sustain. But remember that Striker's Priestesses do have that healing upgrade. So that gives them additional healing over Carnage's. But yeah, population is looking a lot better for Striker right now. 30 population advantage for him. Yeah, it's looking rough for Striker. Now he's switching to full Axemen. Carnage is also making his own Axemen, but... Yeah, it's looking really good for Striker here. I'm starting to get really worried for Carnage. He is going to be getting that melee attack upgrade, but that extra healing on the priestesses for Striker is proving to be really good. Wait, actually, does Striker have any priestesses left? No. Wow, so this might be what Carnage needed to defend this. Now, the melee attack upgrade also hits, and these priestesses are being unharmed in this fight. So Striker is probably going to have to retreat very soon. Uh, Carnage really smartly taking out all of those priestesses and yeah look at the sustain these priestesses are providing for for Carnage the population gap is closing more and more for Carnage yeah very very nice just uh, the villager count is looking heavily in favor of Striker because he kept all of those priestesses on his t town centers whereas Carnage just pulled them off the TC. Well, maybe not this one, but the others. Now we see some defensive guard towers for uh, for Carnage in his main base. Now he's also getting his own uh, melee attack upgrade. And here's the Temple of Set being built by Carnage. Let's see, is Car uh, Striker making a Temple of Set? Not yet. He does have a ton of villagers over Carnage and he's building some more. So let's see how this goes. Here come the Axemen from Striker. Carnage immediately moving those villagers and these villagers are so injured from those previous raids. Yeah, I think he's gonna lose a few of them here unless he builds the tower fast and garrisons inside. Oh, he doesn't because he's distracted on this side of the map. Here are some more priestesses for Striker, eight priestesses.
Yeah, wow. These villagers are so lucky, by the way. Oh my god. Okay, so Carnage is in the Silver Age, researching uh, Axeman Champion. Striker has only now begun starting building his uh, Temple of Set. Carnage realizes that these camels are not going to be super effective in the actual fight, so he's instead sending them around to raid. Before anything, he takes down the Priestess of Ra. That's really nice by Carnage. That's 100 gold down the drain. Or striker and he is still making some spearmen remember this army is 14 spearmen inside of it and as soon as axeman champion hits if striker engages into carnage's army pretty sure he's gonna be a very very sad man oh these villagers are fighting <laughs> this army but yeah now they need to abandon oh no the villagers are going th straight through the uh, blue army somehow they're still not dead but they will be very soon but here's carnage's main army striker needs to stall for another 20 seconds before his own axeman champion hits but are they going for base trade i think if that's that's the scenario carnage is in in favor oh here's a panic fortress by striker but oh what's gonna happen here i'm really curious to see so we have four towers here three being built actually four fourth one isn't built and an h3 tc and remember only a few axemen here can do so much overlapping splash damage especially in these tight corners oh the third tc of carnage is up and i didn't even notice that okay so striker seems to be not making up his mind very well he does have a uh, Panic Fortress built here, but overall I think Karn is in a better spot. He's up in population, especially in army, because uh, he does have fewer villagers and he's ahead in population, so that makes his army much bigger than Strikers, but I think now... Carnage in a very, very good spot for coming back in this game, now even has some Chariot Archers to help in. With the Axeman, and he's taking down the main TC of Striker, who is building a, an elephant to help out, but I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. This TC is going to be going down. It has also four Priestesses of Ra in it, and they will be massacred as soon as the TC goes down, I think. These four Priestesses. Well, maybe not, but... Overall, I think Carnage in a completely fine spot. Now switching to a chariot composition, getting barbed arrows to empower the DPS output of these chariots, who are going to smash through those action. But as a counter, Striker is building slingers. That's really cool. I'm just worried about Carnage's villager count, who is on 48 compared to the 71 of Strikers. So that's the one thing that Striker has over carnage right now it's the additional villagers but that does mean that if carnage manages to max out with this villager count it's gonna be a huge army a huge huge army Carnage is starting to run out of gold though, he needs to migrate to this spot, or maybe this spot if he wants to gather additional gold. And he needs to start thinking of his uh, late game, yeah, like Striker is, look at this, Striker. Building a TC and a market at the pretty much perfect spots for this map, getting full value. Carnage is not building villagers. Okay, he's starting to build some villagers now, but with three elephants here. Now, what does Carnage do against these elephants? He doesn't have much. He does have some camels here in the mix, but the rest are just axemen and chariots, and they are not very effective against war elephants. I'm curious, maybe, just maybe he could build some priests of set. He does have one here already, and... Insane elephants are actually one of the best things you can have in your in the middle of your opponent's army because they have splash damage 
61 villagers to 84. Slinger champion even being added for striker. And he's starting to build his caravans. There's his market from Carnage. I think he's going to have a pretty decent trade as well if he starts trading with this TC. But let's see. Oh, wow. Striker's actually gathering from Carnage's side of the map with his, um, with his villagers. Here comes the main engagement. Carnage sees those elephants. That Priest of Set is going to be joining the battle soon. Maybe if if he's lucky, he is going to be converting the, the elephant with this Priest of Set. But it's, this is a very sizable force for a Carnage. I'm not sure if Striker can break this. Especially given how much larger this army is. Carnage and 66 villagers to the 85 of Striker. Okay, let's see. Where is he rallying his caravans I don't see a rally point but I think it's here but anyway we've got an engagement the priestess of the priest of set is converting this elephant but it's already going down another attack from these elephants but yeah they're dying to the chariots and the camels and remember these are champion camels who so will make short work of these chariot are uh, these slingers actually yeah carnage seems to be winning this fight quite handily now with priestesses coming in striker is gonna try and attack the chariot archers with his elephants but carnage is gonna move his camels into position and he's gonna just take down the elephants one by one. Oh, these priestesses are just moving behind the army of Carnage. Oh, here's an insane elephant. He's going to take one shot at Striker's army before he falls to his demise. Okay, Carnage. Oh, yeah, like I, like I, sus uh, I mean, suspected, there was no rally point for Carnage's markets. So he's going to set it now. Hopefully to the third TC. Yeah, there he goes. Striker has stolen almost 3,000 gold from Carnage's side of the map. And now Carnage is moving everything into position, adding more priestesses. Does he have the healing upgrade yet? He does not. But on the other hand, Striker doesn't have any priestesses in this army. So that's one advantage Carnage has over him. Oh, finally, touch of rabbing research. I'm loving it by Carnage finally getting that upgrade now he's also adding proxy siege workshop well not exactly proxy but you know siege workshops on his side and carnage sees that he cannot break the middle so he's going for an alternate approach this scout has been here since forever by the way oh striker is not coming for a flank but carnage sees this oh no the priestesses what are what is carnage doing Ooh. Okay, now we have a surround. This is going to be massive if those elephants can get on top of the chariots. But the elephants are now fighting camels. I'm not sure whose fight, whose fight this is going to be, but... Striker is ta tagging with those slingers onto the chariots. Chariots are one of the best, tar uh, most susceptible targets to slinger tagging because they're high pop, low count units. And yeah, Striker seems to have... Won this battle quite heavily, taking a 20 population lead over Carnage. And now he's training lots and lots of Axemen. And he's adding on to his caravan count, sitting at 93 villagers to the 73 of Carnage. Wow. So Striker's score is skyrocketing over Carnage, but that does mean that his actual army count is not quite as much. Let's see, Carnage is getting... How much gold is he getting on these caravans, on these trip? 103 gold per trip for Carnage, and for Striker, I'm pretty sure it's the full amount, yeah. So Striker pretty much has 50% extra gold income compared to Carnage. That, combined with his additional villager count, is going to give him a tremendous 
advantage. Oh, this might be helpful for Carnage actually if he if Striker takes down this TC. It might prompt Carnage to make his TC somewhere in the corner instead of right there again. But this is an engagement. Priestess is healing both sides, but we have elephants here, five elephants for uh, Striker, but I think Carnage can take this fight, I think. Not sure, Carnage's Q is empty right now, he needs to start making some units, there he goes. Yeah, I think eventually, yeah, there's a 30C being rebuilt for Carnage, I think that's a safer spot. Soon, these Priestesses will be murdered. We have some siege towers from Carnage, and we have some siege towers from Striker on this side. Luckily for Carnage, he's going to be able to see them if they are rallied where they are rallied right now. But also, luckily for Striker, he has two elephants in the queue already that they're going to be dealing with these siege towers soon. Oh, I think this was un unscouted by both players. That's why Striker was gathering from this gold mine over here. Yes, yeah, Striker is in the vision of Carnage with his siege towers. Even one over here. So Carnage is moving back. He's not bringing his camels though. He's hoping to uh, hold on with those towers. At the same time he's sending those... Uh... Oh look at this splash damage from this elephant. Doing so much damage to these siege towers. But Striker is going to be sending his siege towers onto the market line of Carnage. So many things going on in this game right now. So this siege tower has been brought down. These two are still waiting for uh, commands from Striker, who is actually going for H4, but his Temple Atal got denied right then and there by Carnage. And now uh, Striker is fighting uh, camels with elephants. I'm not sure if that's the co most cost-effective trait he can be taking. Oh, and these siege towers actually didn't go for the market, but instead went to the main base of Carnage. Wow, these elephants are trading well against these camels, huh? But between all the chaos, Carnage kept his market alive and sniped Striker's Temple Ata once and his second TC, uh, third TC, and he is aware that Striker is going to the fourth age, so he needs to start preparing for that H4 transition from Striker very soon. He is running really low on gold though. Unlike Striker who is swimming in the bank of resources. A small group of Axemen, Spearmen, or never mind, not Axemen, uh, Spearmen, Slinger, and Siege Tower from Striker on this side of the map. He's just gonna go straight for the town center, I feel like. But Striker is gonna be. I mean, uh, Carter's gonna be reacting with some camels. There's the Golden Age for Striker. Let's see what he does with this Golden Age. He's adding additional siege workshops. He's going for catapults. Now, this siege tower is gonna go for this town center. I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to take it down before it dies to the camels. Yeah, I don't think it is. And here's the main army of Carnage. Gathering in the middle of the map. Thankfully for him, Striker hasn't dealt any kind of damage to the market line of Carnage, so he can crawl back into this. But is this going to be the second time Carnage gets flanked in this exact position? <sighs> Let's hope not. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Is this going to happen again? Striker trying to flank the army. Carnage trying to split. Oh, but here's a huge camel flank. He's gonna go after the elephant first before anything. So many priestesses in the, in the mix for Carnage. Five priestesses. And there's the temple of, uh, priest of Tahir for Striker. If Carnage doesn't snipe that priest, he is gonna convert all of the, uh, his axemen in a matter of seconds. It's gonna be starting to convert very soon. One convert, two, three. Oh, now he, his convert was interrupted and he goes down. Striker is ahead in technology, but far behind in army uh, army count. Carnage at the 180, while Striker is struggling at 160 population. He does have access to 
200 pop now and yeah look at how many population slots just got reserved by those elephants finally some axemen are gonna come over here and find the caravans it's only three of them though i think carnage can easily wipe them off and very nice these camels are gonna find out find about i mean discover these siege workshops take them out yeah these three axemen are gonna be quite annoying for uh for carnage but he can deal with them yeah some camels to the rescue saddle bags being researched by striker he's on 87 villagers to the uh, 70 of carnage so uh, carnage just needs to buy some stone yeah he's gonna buy it now and he's gonna build a temple of Ta momentarily. Let's see where. Guessing somewhere over here. He is not looking at his base right now. Okay, now he might select all of these villagers and build a temple of Ta. Yeah, there he goes. At the same time, a huge, oh my god, a massive attack by Carnage, by, I mean, by Striker at the worst possible time for Carnage. They just destroyed those axemen. And these towers are not going to be stopping those catapults. And yeah, wow, Carnage just resigns. Incredible. Well, as you can see, Striker out gathering Carnage here by 25,000 resources. Additional techs. I didn't check their armories. Carnage did have all of his H3 armory upgrades, and Striker was only missing. Oh, Striker actually had his armor upgrades and his attack upgrade. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Carnage was missing a lot of his storehouse techs. Striker was not. Oh, I need to switch to uh, this screen, just a minute. Let me fix that.
Oh, whoops, my mic was muted. Let's try again. So here we are with what could be the final game of this best of three series. We have Striker spawning as the blue Celts on the right side with the super fast barracks and Carnage as the red Egyptians once again on the left side of Savannah. Uh, Striker's barracks is halfway done. I believe Carnage is going to be making a barracks very, sh uh, very shortly. There he goes. So let's see. Carnage has two hunts and so does Striker. So everything is in order. Even three hunts. Uh, three hunts for Carnage to wow. That's a really juicy hunt, actually. If Striker al allows Carnage to gather from it, it's going to be really, really good for him. Here come the Spearmen from Striker. Got a restart, no second gold for Carnage. All right, once again, we've got Striker spawning as the blue Celts on the right side, and we have Carnage as the red Egyptians on the left side of Savannah. Let's check the player's resources more carefully this time. So Carnage has his first hunt scouted already. I believe this is going to be his second hunt. As for Striker, he does have a second gold. He's building his second, his first TC, I mean, first a barracks, damn it. Let's see, maybe there's a gold somewhere around here for Carnage. Hmm. Yeah, there's a second gold for Carnage, all right. It is more def uh, more of a front goal though compared to strikers. Here's a barracks from Carnage, which is later compared to strikers uh, barracks, but that's fine. Kels are always. Well, we can blame Recon for this, I guess. <laughs> Ace of Apes. Let's hope that third time's the charm. Hmm. All right. This is Carnage's first hunt. This is a second hunt. 
Third hunt. Yeah, there is a gold for uh, Carnage. It's pretty close. It's not back. It's I mean, it's not at the back of his base, but I think it's close enough. As for Striker, this is a second hunt, third hunt. Let's see where his second gold is. There's a third gold for Carnage. I think this is a good spawn. I'm not gonna go for another restart. I don't think. I don't think yet. Yeah. There's a back gold. So maybe this is the same pattern happening over and over. Yeah, so maybe this is something for Recon to, uh, to see. See into. But I think this is fine, really. But anyway, just like the previous game, or previous restart, I guess, uh, Striker is making his own Spearman, Carnage is gonna be done with his barracks very soon, no stone from either player just yet. Striker actually not even with a Woodstar house yet, he is building it now. There's the barracks from Carnage being built almost. Oh wow, look at this, another gold for Carnage. So yeah, Carnage is really well set for gold in this game, I feel like. Carnage comes over here, sees the Spearman. From Striker, he has two in position already, making a third one. Let's see. This is really nice for Carnage though. Striker is spending time attacking the scout instead of directly attacking Carnage's base and that's exactly what he needs. To buy some time. Oh, another gold. Wow, so many gold spots. Okay. Yeah, third gold for Striker is a little further away, but I guess as for compensation, he has a safe back second gold, I guess. So let's see. Seven spears, seven spears, eighth one on the way. Finally, Karn is starting to gather stone, and his resources are lining up quite nicely for uh, for Temple of Ra. He's going to be building one shortly, I hope. Yeah, there's the Temple of Ra from Carnage. He does have 10 spearmen here already. So he's going to be more than able to defend against these spearmen. And remember, Egyptian spearmen did get a buff to their uh, health not too long ago. But now Striker is splitting his um, Spearmen onto two groups, trying to do some damage with the, the little group that he has on the left side, but I don't think he's going to get too much done. His uh, Striker's Bronze Age is finished. He's researching hunting dogs, interestingly enough. And... Let's see... There's the Bronze Age for Carnage 2. He needs to queue up some villagers, yeah. Okay. So let's see. Striker's stone count is looking quite nice. Oh, wow. Perfect 300 stone. For a uh, second TC, which is going to be built here. That's a very nice spot for a later uh, market route as well. Regardless of whether he puts it over here or over here. And there's a second TC for uh, for Carnage, but he needs to escort the villagers and the priestess with his entire army, which he is doing now, because these... Uh, because 
these Celtic units. Oh, is Striker gonna suicide his army into this? I don't think he is, yeah. Maybe he wants to attack 12 spearmen and 2 longswordsmen to 12 spearmen and 2 axemen. Oh yeah, the priestess is gonna be huge here though. Okay, now Carnage can engage this, I think. At the same time, the villagers are building a TC and Carnage has a defender's advantage. Neither player is focusing down the other player's units. But I think the priestess is gonna, yeah, priestess is gonna be what turns the tide. In Carnage's favor, Striker backs off, second TC coming up shortly, 22 villagers to 23, Carnage's uh, TC is a little behind um, Striker's, but it's not a huge deal. Now both players have established their second town center, and very interestingly, Carnage is going for a stable as a second production facility, whereas Striker is on three barracks. And another barracks from Carnage, so two racks, one stable, as opposed to three racks from Striker. No uh, sacred grove from him just yet. So... Maybe he's deciding to do a lot of damage with the 7 speed infantry before he commits to an actual fight. Because otherwise... Uh, priestesses of Ra are gonna be a tremendous advantage for uh, for Carnage. Now let's see. Thirty-three villagers to thirty-one. Striker slightly ahead in villager count. Carnage is soon going to be housed, but he is going to be building houses now, so never mind on that. Striker is going to send some longswordsmen here to do some damage with little success, but here's another group here with six longswordsmen, or six spearmen and four longswordsmen, and Carnage's reaction time is perfect, pulling the villagers off just in the nick of time, and he's relocating them on the other side. And some camels over here. Oh, and Striker saw the barracks and he's reacting with building some spearmen. Now that's actually pretty funny. Imagine if uh, Carnage would just build this stable for the sole purpose of tricking Striker into making spearmen and then not producing any camels whatsoever. So he would just spend 250 wood to force striker to spend i don't know like 400 food maybe into spearmen which would then be hard countered by those axemen striker now has druids in the mix i believe i saw it in his queue he does have a sacred grove yeah there's the one druid here there's a second one. Oh, these Villagers need to be running away immediately because a huge group of longswordsmen is right next to them. Oh, yikes. Striker's gonna kill all of those villagers. Damn, that was a huge blow to Striker, to uh, Carnage's economy. Was down nine villagers after that raid. But at the same time, Carnage is doing counter raiding of his own with this, these camels. So that's very good. Carnage does have a slight advantage, I mean, slight population advantage over Striker right now. Maybe he can use that. Um, let's see, he is making double camels though. It's quite interesting. Now Striker is switching on to uh, some spearmen to deal with the camels. Alternating between spearmen and long swordsman uh, this is gonna be i think the biggest fight we've had so far in this game 
uh, a lot of long swords, 34 long swordsmen and two druids, and nine spears, 26, 25 axemen, eight camel, and two priestesses. I think this is gonna go in striker's favor. Well, let's see. These two druids are in the back, prime targets for sniping, but Carnage is not gonna go after that. This is starting to look pretty bad for Carnage, actually. Wow, Striker taking a population lead right after that. Yeah, things are looking pretty grim for Carnage right over here. Well, these camels are helping, but I'm afraid that the reinforcements from Striker are gonna be full of spearmen. Let's see, 49 villagers to 60. Wow, so the villager gap is now even larger than before. Striker now going for double armory upgrades. Striker sending some long swordsmen over here. Now he's also attacking Carnage in his main base, but Carnage is swift to react. Striker now transitioning onto Sacred Deer for his food income. That's really nice. Really nice to see Striker using these special mechanics for each of the civs he's playing with. Last time he used priestesses to empower his economy, now he's using Sacred Deer to provide food for him. Really loved seeing it. Ooh, Striker. Okay, finally. That being said, Striker's uh, macro seems to be slipping up now a bit. But I don't know if, if uh, Carnage can stay here and fight. We have eight uh, spearmen here with uh, armory upgrades, so these camels are gonna die if they stay. 56 villages to 69. Nice. Temple of Set being built here though, so Carnage is gonna go to the Third Age, immediately queuing up Axeman Champion. But at the same time, Striker is building three archery ranges and going to the Silver Age himself. Striker trying to get some vision here, putting down a watch post to make sure Carnage does not gather from this gold deposit and that stone mine. Third TC being built by Carnage. Uh, Striker actually getting Spearman Champion, and I th that's a very good choice because Carnage is still making camels, interestingly enough. And as soon as he hits age 3, I'm expecting these archery ranges to start producing um, bowmen. Waiting on that bowmen count. 74 villagers to 64 so the villager gap is slowly closing no camel champion yet for carnage and no armory upgrades just yet he needs to start oh look at this i don't think uh striker can engage this we have axeman champion research for carnage Mm, or can we? I mean, we do have that armory upgrade advantage that Striker has, but he, he could just wait a few more seconds to get Longswordman Champion. But I'm not sure if he's gonna even need it. He's just gonna power through these units. And now that Longswordman Champion is researched, it's gonna be even tougher for Carnage to hold this push. Yeah, he's backing off now. 70 villagers to 79. So Carnage is now in dire need of something to deal with this army of striker maybe some chariots would help but he's insisting on training those camel riders i'm kind of 
surprised by that decision, but here we are anyway. He sees the camels, I mean the uh, bowmen in the army of Striker. I think he could uh, consider getting camel champion, and there he goes. He's killing it now. Here comes another push, but I think this time Striker is in a really bad spot to engage. His army is choked up in this little spot and the splash damage overlap from the Axeman is really going to put a dent in his army count. He's trying to kite, but these champion camels don't care much about the uh, pierce armor or the pierce damage of these bowmen. Carnage finally starting to queue up some upgrades in his armory. He's building a, a market line, and so is uh, Striker. Actually, already have uh, he already has a um, caravan line set up with a full 150 gold trade. And as for Carnage, I think he's gonna get like 110, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, this is really unlucky for Carnage. He's already behind in villagers, and the oh my god, 19 villagers here. But he is baiting Striker into attacking here, and he's gonna respawn. Yeah, he killed five of those villagers, but not all of them. And remember, Striker is at 101, soon 103 villagers. So this does mean that his army is gonna be tiny in comparison to Carnage, if Carnage manages to max out with his population. Which still hasn't happened yet, but it's bound to happen. We've got a few horsemen here, only four, 12 champion camels though, so there's only these 14 uh, spearmen who are going to help Striker against the camels, otherwise they're fairly fine against pretty much everything else that we have in Striker's army. We'll see, we'll see. Striker, I mean Carnage is now... Bringing all of his priestesses to the mix. He also has Touch of Ra in the queue. It's going to be finished very soon. Uh, Striker does have Gift of Sequana research. So his druids are also quite capable at healing. Now this is an interesting spot to engage. Carnage is going to try and flank the bowmen. And he's going to be surrounding the army of Striker with his champion Axeman. I'm not sure if this is the best spot for Striker to engage, to be honest, but those Spearmen are alive and they're chewing through those Camels. Wow, the Camels all died. They all died, but at the same time, the uh, front line for Striker also evaporated because of the Axemen. And now we have some bowmen against some axemen, but there's a small camel flank and it might seem small, but they actually do a lot of damage. And take very little damage from those bowmen. Now Striker is making more and more bowmen, he's even getting called to arms, that's pretty funny. But Carnage at the other hand, he's making slingers and elephants and at the same time Car I mean Striker is getting horsemen so really countering the upcoming composition from Carnage before they even fight and Striker is going to the golden age 75 villagers to the 103 Carnage struggling for resources he is once again missing a lot of his storehouse upgrades uh, Striker has all of his Toros, because he's starting to delete some villagers, I'm pretty sure, yeah. These poor villagers did nothing but serve the Celtic Empire, and this is what they got in return. A deletion. Let's check their armories. Uh, Striker is missing his Bart Hall upgrades, but he has all of his armory upgrades. And Carnage... Carnage is missing all of his pierce damage upgrades. He does have 
six chariots and eight slingers. But I think this is a fight he can take. Yeah. Finally starting to get some more storehouse techs. Yeah, this army of strikers is tiny compared to what Carnage has here, and I don't think he can engage. He's waiting for that golden age. Maybe he wants to use that for some carpentomes? I mean, he does have the gold to research it. One horseman being queued up. Hmm. More horsemen in the queue from Striker. No upgrades from his stables just yet. Neither of the three. These walls are surely helping him buy some time. Bowman champion, horseman champion, horseshoes. Melee damage and melee armor. So lots of upgrades in the queue for Striker. His army is still smaller than Carnage's, so there's that. Ooh, and Striker walls this place off, but this is completely open. But it doesn't matter as long as your opponent thinks they're walled in, the walls are doing their job. Here comes Carnage with his camels. 14 camels, 8 horsemen. I don't think these camels are gonna have too many problems dealing with the horsemen. At the same time, we have a main engagement over here. Not too many camels to help Carnage over here against the horsemen, but everything else is just being smashed to bits. Ooh, and these units just walking through these trees just allowed the elephants to just dis dismantle this army, but now Carnage needs to move back. Yeah, there he goes. And I think by killing these villagers, Carnage just helped Striker, really. Do we have a Temple Ata anywhere from Carnage? He is still in the Third Age. So soon he's gonna be having a 180 population to 200 population fight. If he doesn't go to the Silver Age, I mean to the Golden Age. But here's another engagement. Three War Elephants still here. They're not attacking the Bowmen yet. But the Bowmen aren't attacking their intended targets either. One Horseman becomes insane. And we have Slingers attacking the Bowmen here actually, so that's really nice. And the Elephants are surviving. But Striker's economy is just much stronger than Carnage's. And even though Carnage is reinforcing, I think he's gonna have to back off very soon. Yeah, he needs to back off. He has a sizable food, uh, wood, gold, and stone bank, but no food bank. That's why he hasn't gone to the Golden Age just yet. And now we have a movement speed right from uh, Striker trying to, you know, bring his army forward. And look at this! These bowmen just walking at the speed of light. But soon it's gonna wear off. And Karna's in a lot of trouble. Down 35 population. Down an age tier. Striker with a full 150 gold uh, trade. And Carnage is getting 93. And here comes the main engagement. Uh, this is probably the last fight of this game. Striker swimming in resources carnage struggling for food right now down to 120 118 115 110 population is struggling to remax striker just sitting over here and there's the gg from carnage he says gg well played and there it is striker in a surprising fashion Taking the series 3 to 0. Yeah, again, Carnage being outgathered by 20,000, outteched by 23. Always behind in villagers, never ahead, save for a few minutes. Yeah, and look at this. 
I think it was just, you know, these little things that added up together. For example, Carnage just forgetting his uh, storehouse upgrades. Striker had all of them. Oh, nearly all of them. Uh, and then, in this game and also on Sheltered Pass, uh, Striker's gold trade was always at 150 gold per trade, whereas Carnage had like 95, like 110, something like that. So these things add up. Let's look at the gold count, for example. See, Carnage just fell behind in gold and total gold gathered. Actually, not that that much more for Striker, but still, the difference was there. But anyway, congratulations to Striker taking the series three to zero. Now let's take a look at the brackets. Uh, hold on a minute. Hmm. Can I show my screen here somehow? One second. Okay, I think I can. Let's try this. So, let's look at our brackets. We ha we are here now. Uh, Striker beats Carnage 3 to 0, moves on to the winner's bracket finals. He's going to be meeting Zerden here. And over here we've got Eerie versus Cool Cat. If I understand it right, Cool Cat doesn't play, he forfeits, so Eerie advances here. He's gonna be playing against Geese. What is 48? Was it this one? Yeah, so we're gonna have Greeky against Carnage again uh, against I mean after that we're gonna have uh Carnage. Oh it's this is gonna be really good actually. So Eerie versus Carnage, then Greeky versus... Hmm... This could really go either way, actually. Poseidon, Verhoover, Borg... Um... <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that does it for this stream. Um, Thank you all for joining.